Hi, Moody's here. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the full moon under the astrological sign of Aries. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Libra. Happy birthday, Libra. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Wow, I hope you are enjoying yourself. The whole month is all about you. What do you want? But under this full moon energy, Holy Spirit, what is the message for Libra? Mm, balance, Libra, justice, Libra. Tell me about Libra, Holy Spirit. Okay, whoa. Sorry, I gotta get these two cards. Libra, Libra. The middle of October. Mm. Okay. That's what I'm, okay. How do you want them? Okay. Libra. There's some communication that causes emotions to run high in the middle of October. And Spirit is saying you need to bring love into the situation to balance it, to bring peace. Your energy. Wow. Okay. What? Wow. Okay. This is how it is. There's some uncertainty. The moon is crossing communication. So even after you hear something, Libra, you hear something, but it's questionable. Um, you don't really believe it. You don't believe it with the Ace of Wands. You don't think it's possible. This communication could be coming from a Leo, uh, Pisces, an Aries, or Sagittarius, a Gemini. But you hear something and it kind of sets you off. I'm feeling like you, you don't trust them, that you're a little defensive, um, you're very guarded. Mm. But it hits home. Whatever you are told, whatever this communication is, it hits home because strength is reversed. So it has an impact. Uh, it slows you down for a minute, right? It, it causes you to hit pause. Mm -hmm. Why does this communication? Because it, it's emotional, Ten of Cups. It has something to do with somebody you love. And uh, you didn't possibly, somebody didn't listen to their intuition. Mm. So spiritually, there is some tricks, some manipulation, some spiritual tampering with somebody that you love. This is communicated. Something is communicated that hinders, that tampers with your love, your emotional state. You're upset by this. You know, this is, uh, I'm feeling like uh, Libra. You know, you're normally a uh, sign that's very much in control of your emotions. But this, you the hell with spirituality. How dare they do this? This is low down, dirty stuff. Mm. Okay. You're upset. You're upset by it. You're upset by what you have heard. But you know something? You know it's a trick. You know it's a lie. It's something that's not really true. Right? Maybe somebody that you love receives some communication that's not true. And... Um, you're doing everything possible to hold on to this relationship so it doesn't fall apart. Everything that's 
you can possibly do to keep the wheels on, Libra. You are, you love this person and you are so angry with whoever spread this lie. It's like so vicious. Mm. Okay. You are normally in control, but this has you out of control. You're pissed. You're like, how dirty and low can you go? What a dirty thing. Tell me. What is this, Spirit? What is this? Queen of Swords. This is a jealous woman. This is some female energy. Somebody from your past, Libra. This is a, a, a jealous female energy. Um, mental health could, but you, they fell in love with you and now they want to hurt you. And how they're hurt you, hurting you is by interfering in your love life. Mm. Spreading gossip and rumors. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. Too many cards, spirit. I'm only taking the one that's down. Okay. Yeah, there's a Queen of Swords here. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. What you heard. Okay. What has been communicated. This what's been spread about your relationship. Or you getting involved with somebody else. There's a lie. It's a vicious lie. It's spreading like wildfire. It's it's just spreading. It's crazy. Um, mm -mm. But it you've taken a hit from it. It's impact your love life with the Ten of Cups here. This is a trick. A mean spiritual trick. It's a lie even at that. It's, this is a lie. Yeah, because they want to mess up your commitment. Somebody wants to break up your commitment. You're involved with somebody. Look at this, the tower. Mm-hmm. And, and this causes whoever you're involved with, Libra, to hit pause. Like, they don't know what to think. It's a first test of your commitment, a big test. You know, maybe um, I'm talking to a Libra that your relationship undergoes a big test and this is it and it's a lie it's a lie but it causes your love to hit pause the hangman shows up yeah you um even get worried by them believing this lie who who could sit do something so mean you know so low life with the high priestess reverse and the magician reverse who could wreak havoc onto your love life cause all this emotional upheaval based on a lie they're just jealous of you of the relationship you have and you find yourself asking how do i bring love back into my relationship after how do we survive this lie mm. How do we survive this lie? Two of Swords reverse. How do we move on? Okay. Somebody definitely wants to move on. They want to move forward. They, they want to bring this lie out into the open. Mm. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're really thinking about who benefited from this lie the most. Somebody's focusing on who benefited from this lie. Who benefited from your person believing this lie the most. Tell us, Spirit. Could have been a Sagittarius or a King of Pentacles, uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But whoever initiated this lie is very unbalanced, unhinged. They have financial issues. I told you I was feeling with the, the Queen of Swords. It could be some mental health. This person didn't want you to be with that in love. They didn't want you to be happy. They were jealous. They were unhinged. This person is definitely unhinged. 
okay? But spirit wants you to focus on bringing love back into the equation, um, overcoming this lie. Yes, tell me how can Libra overcome this lie? What are you recommending, spirit? Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Bring love into the situation. Yes. Um, take them out. Everything that you did to get this person, you're going to have to do this and more to keep them. Whoa. That's what Spirit just said. Reignite the passion, the playfulness. Just get them to know you again and just reassure them that you could never do what you've been accused of doing, right? That your love transcends all of this. That's what you're basically saying to them, Libra. You're bringing love back to the forefront and, and that's what's causing this lie to dissipate. Mm-hmm. What else should Libra say to bring love back into this situation? Mm -hmm. They can't seem to find the right words right now. So Somebody can't seem to find the right words to bring love back into the situation. And that's why Spirit is saying, just be playful. Just remember what you did to get them from the beginning. And uh, that's what you're going to need to do in order to get them back. Not only that, but some more. You know, and I just get the feeling that whatever you're doing, you're going to benefit from this, Libra. All the efforts you're putting in, they're going to fall back in love with you. <laughs> That's what I see. I see them succumbing. Wow. And you know what, Libra? You say also that you should have been more honest with them the way that you were feeling at the time, you should have told them about this communication at the time that you heard it. That probably would have like nipped it in the butt. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. But somehow you didn't speak on it because it was untrue. You didn't want to give any validity to it. But, you know, things spiraled. Things spiraled. It was a shock how treacherous people can be. I know it is. It's like, really? And so, you know, your heart is telling you to just do it, Libra. Just do what you have to do to bring the love back into your relationship. Focus on that. Be playful. Be loving. Be kind. Give me some uh, love. Romance angels for Libra. Focus on this love. That's what I'm feeling. Yes, love is what's going to fortify your relationship. Mm -hmm. Because you two had a strong relationship. And this was a test. Like I said, this may have been the first test that really has some teeth in it. and uh, But you two have something that's strong. You can withstand this test. This is true love. I mean, it wanted to come out, but it didn't. But yes, this is uh -huh. this is maybe your first real test. And um, <clears throat> yeah, divine is at lot at work in your love life here. He definitely doesn't want you to be derailed over this lie. This person was unhinged. You know, they were very envious. They're unstable. The king of pentacles reverse. They, they're very unstable. Their life, their mind, their intentions. Yeah, it was a lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. But divine's got you. What else, spirit for Libra? Yeah, you, you're going to have a peaceful ending. 
you're going to rebalance this because you are the sign of balance. It's your birthday month. This is going to be your birthday present. Stay optimistic because you know what? You two are going to have a good holiday coming up. You are. You're going to have a great holiday. Things are going to go your way. Trust me. Trust me. Divine is at work in your life, like I said before. And that's what I have for you. Libra, happy birthday to you again. Love yourself. Do something with this person that you love to bring back the magnetic chemistry. Enjoy the upcoming holidays together. And until the next moon phase, namaste. And thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I appreciate and love you guys. And to those of you who haven't, keep coming back. And again, like I said, Libra, happy birthday and namaste.